And I'm like, man, I gotta figure out getting to James. And then we get to uh, Seven's birthday party. And James is there, and I'm nervous as a bitch. That's, that's the first time. First time I met James. <laughs> and he was like, yo, you ain't James, right? He's like, yo, James, eh. and I was like, no way. No way, right? Cause I'm in my head, I'm like, there's no way that it was that easy. It was really like, and in my head, I was like, okay, if I meet him, we probably gonna end up smoking, right? And the first thing the nigga said is, you got a lighter? Oh, what up, shit. nigga? Oh, oh shit. Uh, Right. Well, so, man, you know, what's up? Yeah. What's up, good bro? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, good bro? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it's just crazy. Like even meeting James, like when he invited me to the office, he's like, "You made it. Now what?" And I was like, "Huh." Mm. It's kind of like a bad bitch, like when you text her and then she texts you back, like, hey, it's like, hey, yeah, here's your shot. Hey. Like, now what? It's like, I don't know. I didn't think I was going to get here. I didn't, like, and then, then he said, this the craziest thing I had ever, like, in my life. He's like, bro, this ain't nothing. We're going to do music. That's literally, it's nothing. Like, I want you to start thinking about what you're about to do for you. Like, what's your life look like in five years? I was like, I never thought about that. So I'm doing all this stuff, manifesting everything just for my, my now, you know what I mean? But I'm like, What's the wait, what is the, the game? What am I doing? And I sat down and made a plan and tried to figure hey. it out. And then every day is just chopping at that plan, you know, making sure that it's like, you stay focused on your, your why. I love that song right in seminar, yo. If not, no one else, it birthed Aunt Clemens, I swear to God. Which one? Uh, the joint at the Viper Room, when oh, Beyonce yeah, and Jay-Z yeah, came to. Damn, you was there? Bro, that was my first time in LA. Yes, you did, absolutely. What's that shit you ordered? Uh, where's that place you ordered from yesterday? It was in. in <coughs> I'll tell you right now. That's crazy, man. That's my first time ever. Right that now. was Grammy weekend. Well, you like, killed. You did that so loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah. I still got the video for that shit. Yeah. Damn, bro. That shit was crazy. You don't. You don't. Sixty-three fifty-seven. I don't have a story, so I can't be an artist because nobody gives a fuck about me, right? And it's like just that self-awareness. It was like. I was able to just say like, well, <laughs> what's the best way to make somebody care about you? It's like, oh, you can help them out. Cause if you help somebody out, they just feel like forever indebted. <laughs> Never indebted. R.I.P. You know what I mean? R.I.P. You know what I mean? Cause you, you know what I mean? Forever indebted. You can never sing that song. <laughs> forever indebted. <laughs> That's the secret to uh, having a brand. Bro. For everything. It's like, yo, you know what? Let me help you out. Let me just mm -hmm. fix a problem that you didn't even know you had. And Boom, like, so when I met my brother, well, even though I was working with Scott in Philly, like, my homie that, like, let me crash into the crib, I pulled up at the house like, yo, what's up? Y'all got beats? They ain't the best beats in the world. I wasn't the best songwriter in the world, but I was like, I'm willing to work. And it was like, yo, we gonna figure this shit out. So, like, from that to now. What made it click as, like, a good songwriter? You know how, like, we, the going to the like, Viper Run and dance while we were saying the why is the most important part of the song. I was like, huh? And he was like, yeah, we can go, we can talk about a song about like the the what, like what's happening. Like, yeah, I'm in a club with a, with a, with a soda and a Pepsi. And I was like, what? He's like, but why are we here? And when you talk about why you're, you're somewhere, like you, 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 like, that's the thing that connects everybody. I heard it and I didn't, I still didn't get it. I still was trying to write the whys and everything. And I was like, something, something, something because this. And it was just, but you know, trial and error, trial and error, trying to figure it out. Um, I hit my head against a whole bunch of walls before I actually like got good. I didn't do a whole bunch of songs just because I just just I was super tired of waiting on niggas. So I was at the crib recording myself every day. I wasn't going to no parties. I was recording myself in Jersey, recording myself, recording myself, recording myself. Didn't know how to work auto tune, figuring it out. Got the pitch correction joint on uh, Logic. I'm gonna figure this shit out. Don't kill it, don't kill it, bro. It's a beat. Let it live. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it out of here. Yeah, I was. I literally was getting ready to. I don't fuck with these. Three these. Or watch. Man, I watched uh, my girl that movie one time. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they, they don't fact. fuck with you unless you like fuck with them. But like, um, what made it click? Yeah, the why was a big thing. Um, getting my first couple placements and not really changing my life, like that. Yeah, I was like, yeah, wait, you mean to tell me? That you came all the way the fuck out here and you worked so hard to get a placement and no one knows about the song because it came in a pool of a hundred songs that day and the artist ain't gonna promote it because he's working on a movie at the current moment or whatever. Damn. I gotta do more songs. I gotta figure this out, right? And like, because there's somebody that's doing the same exact thing, it's but it's like hitting. Like, hitting, hitting. Like, Maroon 5 hitting. Like, Gone hitting. I'm like, let me. I'm, I want to get like that. So I was, I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong, who I was listening to, the and why I was listening to. The why fucked me up. When I heard that why shit, I started questioning everything. Uh, I used to just ask James. I think James is probably told. I just, I break every song down every time he writes, and yeah. it's just like, 
Like the shit that he be saying, like even like the first the first line, he never knows what he's saying, ever. Yeah. Ever. They don't even know what he's gonna talk about. Never. Ever. You just shoot it out. But the third line it's is the, the relationship it, mm-hmm. that it it, it 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 takes it back to it brings wow. some uh, two Man. people here or That's something. Crazy. It's like this shit is crazy. Like one of the things he taught me uh, for some right. You know how niggas will say they'll they'll say like, what's a good example? Like, yeah, like if I wrote a song and said, uh, uh, I got in a fight with my girl, uh, it was blood on the floor and red lipstick. James would say, he'll say, red lipstick, he'll say, red lipstick, uh, high heel on the floor mm-hmm. and... We'll give you one more. In that, like that. A, uh, in, a, in a sundress. Exactly. Like in a sundress. So then it's like, that's automatically, it's about <laughs> the, the crime scene. Mm-hmm. It's like, what is the crime scene? Like, mm-hmm. other than right. saying, like, y'all seen this girl on the street, I liked her. He'll he'll say, red lipstick on a cigarette. Mm. Hear that? <laughs> <laughs> but listen, red lipstick on a cigarette is coming to you. It's, listen, it's coming to a house near you. Yeah. yeah. This is because, right? Ed Sheeran did that shit and like, so I went into study mode. I was like, well, what is great? I was like, not just great to what I like. What's great in the charts? Let's figure this shit out. And I, I started studying the script and I was studying um, uh, Bruno at the time. Like really studying his lyrics and his song structure. Song structure was a major thing. These white niggas, Sam Smith, all like Ed Sheeran, they get to it in four lines. You get four lines for a verse, and it's right to the hook. Stay with me, it's four lines. Guess I'm cool, I'm not good at it a one night stand. But I still need love because I'm just a man. What, why? You know what I mean? These nights never seem to go as planned. So won't you stay with me, so won't you hold my hand? Stay with me. <laughs> why? Cause you all I need. He put the why as the second, second line on both of them. Guess it's cool, I'm not, good, uh, I'm not good at a one night stand. But I still need love cause I'm just a man. These yeah, nights the never seem to go, like right? Oh, uh, uh, so just stay with me because you hold my hand. So he went, what, what, why, what, what? Then in the hook, what, why, what, what? So stay with me because you're all I need. This ain't love, it's clear to see. Stay with me. What, 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 why? It's like, oh, you can just break this shit down for math. But what we do as niggas, we fill shit out. We make it overcomplicated. We put extra words because we're like, oh, we need to fill this harmony right here. And you fuck up the format of what, oh, why, what, what? You put... You just go into crazy detail of what, 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 and niggas never get to the why. Mm-hmm. Like, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this, and we're doing this. Well, why? We just doing just it. Doing it. That's why I was telling you a great song, bro. That shit. It's uh, easy. Songs that'll last for a lifetime is the niggas songs that got a why. Mm-hmm. Songs that just fly by night. I make that much money. Freaking happy Ed Sheeran. He goes, um, wow. um. Uh, I just remember how uh, how visual it is. It's like um, walking down 29th and Park. <laughs> right, yeah. Happy, happy. Yep, happier, happier. Walking down 29th and Park, I saw you in another's arms. You know what? You see the crime scene, right? Um, only a month we've been apart, you look happier. Those are the first that's the first stanza, the first four lines of the verse, right? Saw you walk inside a bar. He did the where. So he did where? Walking down 29th and Park. Uh, saw you walk inside a bar. Same joints, right? Uh, he said something to make you laugh. Uh, is the second line in that. He goes, where, what, what, what? He doesn't go to the why yet. So he holds the why off. A great song from like, in my person, holds it for the hook. It's like, and boom. It just, it's just like, you know, you, you hold off. So it's like, Walking down 29th and Park, I saw you in another's arms. Uh, only a month we've been apart, you look happier. Saw you walk inside a bar, he said something to make you laugh. I saw that both your smiles were twice as white as ours, you look happier. Come on fam, how, how much more visual can you get? Ain't nobody hurt you like I hurt you, but ain't nobody need you like I do. Promise that there's other, others that deserve you. Baby, but my darling, I am still in love with you, and I can tell you happier is true. <laughs> my friends told me one day I'd see it too. Until then, I smile and hide the truth. Why? Cause I know I was happier with you. 
yeah, 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 and you just feel it, you know what I mean? The build up is build up, build up, and then that why. The, the special part about thinking about you, Frank Ocean, wasn't, like, wasn't, I've been thinking about you, oh, nah, 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 that wasn't the special part. The, do you not think so far ahead? That's not the special part. The special part of that song is, cause I've been thinking about forever. That's the part that everybody's like, oh shit. I get it. You're asking a question. A question is the greatest cheat to a hook, because then you're asking, like, you're you're having a conversation. So, do you not think so far ahead? Why? Cause I've been thinking about forever. All the shit in the verses led me up to get to this point of saying, do you not think so far ahead? Cause I've been thinking about forever, and I've been thinking about you in my forever. That it's like, that's what makes that song beautiful. You know what I mean? But shit's too easy. Let me go catch a vibe in there, cause they're grooving. Ha ha. Which one you